Hey folks, Engineer775 here with another product review. I've been real excited about this. I finally have a chance to install the Solark 8K inverter. And I've done other videos with the first generation Solark, the 3K. And um, let me tell you a little bit about the company that I've been dealing with. As a, I'm a, a basically a dealer for Solark and you can purchase the products through me. A lot of people don't realize that and they buy it direct. You're welcome, Tom. But anyway, um, I've been working with Tom Brandon over at Solark, these folks out of Texas that have been really, really good to work with. I gave them a lot of flack when they first started about their inverter and comparing it to the industry standards out there, the Outbacks, the Schneiders, the Magnums. And their inverter came up a little, came up quite a bit short of some of the proven mature technologies out there. And um, so we argued a lot, Tom and I did on the phone back and forth. I installed several of the inverters. The inverters were great. I didn't have any failures. Uh, we had one, but they, there was a charge controller. They fixed it immediately. So great service. Um, enjoy working with them. So we banter back and forth. Um, I'm working with a manufacturer. And um, so they've, all I, I say all that to say Tom has been great over at Solark. And they have a lot of... Um, engineers there that have experience in electromagnetic pulse protection, uh, EMP hardening of the system, and I'll talk about that. That's kind of a separate subject. The inverter I want to share with you today is uh, probably based on at least two to three years of very hard work. And, um, you know, I, I gave them a lot of input, I think, over the last two years of what, you know, what we're using, whether it's I'm working with Johnny and Gain Solar or installing stuff myself or seeing what other people are doing. And they took it to heart and they went all out on this inverter. I know they just debuted at Intersolar and they'll probably be at SPI. But in terms of on paper, this inverter is blowing the doors off of everything in its class in terms of cost, efficiency. They got a nice little chart here that compares the Solark to, um, and I'll go through this later, but it's a chart that compares the Solark cost and abilities to you know the outbacks and the magnums and the pikas and the solar edges and the teslas and the darfons um, this is a transformerless inverter i'm going to show you that but it, it is a transformerless inverter that has amazing surge capabilities more so than anything out there more so than the outback skybox way more way more than the darfon uh, we, we con continuously look at a lot of the inverters out there because we want the latest greatest I have a weakness for the latest, greatest, the newest technology out there. I get real excited and I get in trouble because a lot of products that are new, first generation, I haven't learned my lesson yet. I said, let's try it. And a lot of them aren't so good and fail. But the solar company, Portable Solar, has done a fantastic job on this inverter. I'm going to show you a little bit about it. I wanted to do a little bit of a product review and an unboxing video here. Um, and this week coming up, I'll be installing this inverter. And... Um, so I'll walk you through the process of how we're going to, you can install it a lot of different ways where I'm going to install it my way and we're going to be taking advantage of all the awesome features on the inverter. There's features on the inverter that are really, really cool. There's a smart load, there's limited home. Um, you can do some amazing things and I'm going to tell you about those uh, probably during the installation. I'm going to show you a few things more here on this video about this inverter. Uh, and then the EMP protection. This thing has been blasted 140 times at 100 kilovolts per meter. What does that mean? Well, that's comparable to an E1 nuclear detonation, the results of a nuclear detonation, um, and it has survived 140 blasts. They are working on and almost have their lithium ion battery that can, is also EMP proof. There's a there's always complica complications with BMSs, battery management systems, and lithium ion batteries. Um, they're about to have this resolved at Solark, so they have their own proprietary lithium-ion battery that matches up beautifully with the Solark. But you can do lead-acid, flooded, and AGMs. We're going to be installing an AGM battery bank with this install. So um, there's so much I want to tell you about this inverter. Efficiencies off the chart will beat anything out there. It acts like an SMA string inverter. I'm sorry, Tom, that's the way I see it. It acts like a string. It has a string inverter. There's no charge controllers. And... Um, so there's no combiner boxes, there's no microelectronics out at the array or up on the roof uh, for failure. You're basically uh, just sending high voltage strings of PV directly to the unit and it's super, super efficient, has great surge. Uh, I know they report, I think it's 12,000 watt surge or more, 
I know they've tested it higher than that, and I can't give away too much information of how cool it is. So let me show you the inverter, and um, if you've got any questions, let me know. I'll be glad to get you on. All right, folks, let's take this thing apart. Okay, let's unveil the Solark 8K. Forgive the lighting, it's late in the day. Tomorrow this baby will be loaded up and headed to an undisclosed location to be installed. Solark, energy insurance for your family. And they really do, they really do seem to care about folks. They're a small company and they, they operate like one and it's very nice, the personal touches are nice. So I, I already took this, uh, the wiring access cover, I unscrewed it. So I'm just gonna show you a few things. Um, from left to right, we have our, our battery connection. Again, lead acid, uh, AGM, and or lithium ion. Then we have our PV connection. On the bottom, we have, we have knockouts. We have our inch and a quarter, three quarter knockouts. There's a PV disconnect built in, okay? And then we have, um, so the comms, we have our PV coming in. This can take up to 10 kW of solar, okay? There's two 5,000 watt MPPT channels coming into the unit. There are everything from your typical battery sensors, your current transformers. This has some really neat modes, as all inverters do now today, of being able to grid zero, or this is called limited home, and being able to sell back. So you can install this inverter without batteries and just grid tie it. Just set it up as a grid tie inverter. It's super efficient in doing that. It has the plastic, and I don't want to take it off yet until I get it installed. So. It does look a little cleaner than that if you take that plastic on. You've got your um, your load out breaker, 50 amp breakers here. You've got your grid in, 50 amps, and then you have a generator. They also, they, let me tell you something really cool about this while I'm at it. They have a smart uh, load uh, capability um, that actually t reverses this and takes this generator out, uh, input and turns it into a, an AC output where they can, it's almost like a diversion load controller where you can actually heat water, run this to your water heater, run it to an air conditioner, run it to an irrigation pump. There's a lot of different things that you can do with a smart uh, load uh, system that they have designed. You basically go in and you set voltage parameters um, and then you can basically start up pumps, pull pumps. Uh, there's a lot of cool things. Water heating is one good application for it. If you do that, then you can't have a generator on here. You can do a whole house generator, but you can't take the generator in here. And you, Anyway, you need to be less than 10 kW on a 240 volt generator. No 120 volt generators allowed on this unless you add a transformer and step it up to 240. But anyway, too many details, I guess. Very simple. You know, we got into these uh, newer inverters like the pica um, where everything was in one unit the installation if the installation is so much easier you do not have combiner boxes and charge controllers and inverters and distribution panels and all the things that go with that or you know systems like solar edge with microelectronics up on the roof you have none of that basically i'm bringing in uh four wires for each channel of pv pv directly from the array into the inverter and um, and that's and that's it. So real cool. Uh, there's no separate monitoring screens or SCPs or remotes. Everything is done here on this display. It's fully capable of connecting. It's got um, you can connect it to the. Here's a Wi-Fi port here. There's apps. I've already downloaded the app to my phone so I can monitor the unit. So it's it's a lot lighter when they don't have transformers in them. They're a lot lighter than regular inverters. So. This baby, I'm, I've been running at 8K Radian, but I'm, I'm, the numbers are nothing compared to what this thing. Very high percentage, 97%. Don't quote me on that. You can look at the spec sheet. So anyway, let me just show you, you know, what you're looking at with, on, this, on this inverter. So going through, you basically, like many systems, you have an inverter. The, the 8K, you got a battery bank with lots of choices, a PV array, your battery temperature, here's all the connections. It has rapid shutdown capability, it also has arc fault protection, uh, generator start, a CAN bus, we have critical loads panels, 
or you can run this this can be a transfer switch um, a manual transfer switch and your main panel because you want to feed back 50 amps to the inverter and you can put a backup generator on it this doesn't even show the smart load capability and so um, it's a great uh, if you go to their website you can see the comparison of pricing between the Solark and everybody else out there and performance so I've got my work cut out for me I'm gonna go put one of these in next week and um, I'm looking forward to, to doing it we're gonna be basically hooking it to a critical we're gonna put a transfer switch on a home and then we're going to we're gonna put um, we're gonna run a sub panel in another building and so we will be running uh, multiple things. We'll be running air, little um, mini split units, lots of freezers, refrigerators, and it's a good prepper site we're going to be working on. So we'll be uh, showing you kind of step by step the installation of the Solark 8K. So pretty excited. Got a lot of work to do next week with this, and um, I'm going to be installing a hot water system along with it. But the smart load. I'll get into that when I get on the job. There's, two, I'm going to have three ways to heat water, and one of the ways is using um, the diversion capability of this machine to do it. So, I guess that's it. So, I, um, it's an interesting job. Everything was shipped to the customer already, and again, the customer is a is a subscriber and watches my videos, but didn't know that I actually sold these. And so they bought them directly from the factory. So that's a shameless plug for, hey folks, I actually, the reason I do product reviews is because I put this stuff on my website and I also sell them as well as install them in design systems for them. So anyway, uh, just had to, just had to say it. So anyway, um, if you have any questions about the solar and its capabilities, whether it's EMP hardening capabilities, forget the EMP. This system will, will beat the doors off of my Outback Radian, which is an 8K as well, in terms of performance. I've been on my Radian for two years. It works great, but efficiency, nope, not even close to what the Solar can do. Um, so as inverters move towards transformerless, um, you'll see Jason Andrade's videos, uh, so West Coast Sustainables, he just installed a Skybox, which is a 5,000 or 5,500 watt inverter transformerless can't touch this um, also the Darfon that's out there in the same class if you stack it um, it still has no surge capability so this this thing as a transformerless inverter can be used in an off-grid situation and it's less money than a lot of the industry standard inverters out there so um, I think you know everything that I disliked about the first generation they improved the ability to charge batteries quickly, a great onboard charger, up to 165 amps, I believe. Um, crazy, crazy good. So obviously split phase 240, larger 8,000 watt. And if you can't uh, live off grid on 8,000 watts, then you're doing something wrong. You got to change out some appliances. So there's no reason to have to add, I don't think, more than 8,000. Um, some special situations where you're putting, you know, they're fancy high profile jobs you might have more but typically you don't need more than more than this to take care of a family this 8k will do a wonderful job looking forward to putting it in folks if you have any questions please let me know um, i'm probably skipping a lot of things but you'll see it on the install so got any questions fire away in the comments and check out the links in the description this is engineer 775 signing out let's go put this solark in